Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have nothing on my face. I'm getting ready for the day while testing out a full face of clean luxury beauty products. It was a challenge to myself. I wasn't sure if I could put together the full face, but I think I've done it. And I was inspired to create today's video because I saw the email from Credo Beauty about their 20% off friends and family sale, site-wide, no code needed. And I believe everything we're gonna talk about today can be found on their website. It's not sponsored or anything like that, but it's been a goal of mine to start incorporating more clean products. My number one goal is to consume less, be more mindful about my purchases, but my second goal has been to be more mindful about the brands I'm purchasing. I am not 100% clean. I'm very new to clean beauty. And I think if any of you watching are like me, you're sort of interested, you like the idea of clean beauty, but you're not sure where to begin, Hopefully today's video will be helpful for you. I think sometimes we get this all or nothing mentality, like you have to go all clean or not at all. But of course that's not true. I think it's much easier to start incorporating a few products at a time, swap things out, and hopefully find some new products that you love just as much as the original. I'm gonna begin with moisturizer. I don't have any skincare on at the moment and my face is feeling a bit dry. So I have this Tata Harper Next Generation Beauty Water Lock Moisturizer with Skin Smoothing Peptides. And it's refillable as well, which is pretty cool. I didn't realize, but once you're done with the first bottle, I guess you can take it out and refill it. I've never used this before, so I think you just pump it out. There we go. Okay, <laughs> it took a minute. So it has this really cool top where you just press down and the moisturizer comes out, which is nice because that way it's not exposed to oxygen. I love a pump with moisturizer. I don't like to have to dip my fingers in a jar. So this is great because it's a pump still kind of a jar, but it protects the product from air, which will just kill all of the active ingredients. So I just love this packaging already. Hmm. It smells really good, but it's kind of funny. It's a bit disconcerting at first because you don't expect, well, I didn't expect a strong fragrance. And I'm sure it's not fragrance, it's probably the ingredients, the active botanicals that give it that smell, but it does have a fragrance. It's good though, it smells really nice. As you can see, my face is very pale, but my body is nice and tan. I've done two coats of sunless tanner because one of my very best friends is getting married over the weekend. So I have sunless tanner on my body and We'll fix the situation by going in with makeup and bronzer on the face. Last week, I think it was last week, I had my second IPL photo facial. I've been visiting Vita Body Club in the Miami Design District, and it's the only spa in the Design District, and they do an incredible job with facials. But with the IPL photo facial, they warn you, you have to be very diligent about your sunscreen, because what happens is they kind of zap your face, it doesn't hurt, but depending on the intensity, it feels like little rubber bands snapping against your skin. And the second, since it was my second facial, she cranked up the machine. She really turned up the intensity, which will give you better results. It's uncomfortable, but it's pretty fast. But they bring the dark spots to the surface, so you'll notice the dark spots on your face get a little bit darker, and then you slough them off, and then it kind of cleans the slate and gets rid of all of the hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tone. That's really my biggest skincare concern. Of course, I do have little fine lines around my eyes, my mouth. That's inevitable. It comes with aging. But all of the sun damage from years ago when I was tanning outside, tanning in the tanning bed, now it is all on the surface of my face. So I'm doing my best to get rid of it, but I have to be super careful and use sunscreen every single day. So that is going to be the next step. So this is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. It has niacinamide and squalene, oh, and hyaluronic acid, so it's great. It says to shake vigorously before you apply, so I'm giving this a nice shake. I've never used this before. Before I sat down to film, I did do a little swatch test so I could make sure it was a decent shade match, and it is. We're heading to Tampa tonight for the wedding, so I do want more of a full face. So I'm gonna use this as more of a primer sunscreen skin tint, and then I will spot treat with a fuller coverage foundation on top, just in the areas where I need a little bit more coverage. That's a nice little dropper. You 
this is very sheer and it's kind of perfect for those days that you don't want much you don't need a lot of coverage you just want a little something on your face and then you're going to get out the door now i do need a mirror <laughs> oh no what was i thinking i could even use my fingers to blend this out which i usually would if i was just kind of throwing this on just to run some errands i would blend it out with my fingers Totally forgot. I am wearing shade 8. ST8 Shela. Shela is the shade that I'm wearing. You can see it's very light. Leaves your skin looking a little bit dewy. Kind of helps to even out the complexion a little bit. I definitely see my skin shining through. Not a lot of coverage. What's great is it has the SPF 40 in the skincare. Next, I'm gonna spot cover using this Westman Atelier Vital Skin Foundation Stick. I have the shade four, and I learned the hard way. A little bit goes such a long way with this foundation. The first time I used it on camera, I was doing stripes all over my face, thinking I would blend it out, it would be beautiful, but it gave me a mask of foundation. So it's pretty medium to full coverage. I kind of like the idea of having both products. This is really light and dewy. This gives you that full coverage, full face, full glam type of coverage. That way you have the best of both worlds. But I'm just going to apply a teeny tiny bit. It's great for touch up, it's great for travel. They don't have a huge shade range, but if you can find a good shade match, it's a really great foundation. See, this is sort of the ideal complexion right here. Go in with the skin tint all over, but then just a little bit on the cheeks, maybe a little bit on the forehead with the stick foundation to give you a little bit of coverage just in the places you need it instead of doing full coverage all over the face. And something I've talked a lot about before on my channel is that luxury beauty is starting to go more clean, trying to clean up their ingredients or refillable packaging like a Gucci packaging, Hermes packaging. It's still beautiful and luxurious, but it's refillable, which is a bit better. Charlotte Tilbury has her refillable compacts as well. Dior has gone pretty clean with their skincare. I know they got rid of the cellophane wrapping and the little pamphlets inside, which is better for the environment. So. When big brands really start to take note and when they go in that direction, it will just move everybody in that direction. Um, but for concealer, I have this Kosas. It's not the best shade, unfortunately, 3.5. I probably need maybe two. I think they go one, two, three. But I will make it work for today because this is the lightest shade that I have. And I, I like the concealer. I just typically go for something a little bit lighter, a little bit more brightening for the under eye. So that'll be next on my list. I need a good clean concealer. I'm cheating. I know I shouldn't do this, but I'm just going to add just a touch of the hourglass because this is so light. It will help give me that brightness. I'd hate to not have a bright under eye and then look at the makeup and think it doesn't look as good when really it's just my fault because I don't have the right shade of concealer. Chanel has gone cleaner with some of their formulas as well. Of course, the infamous change of their Le Beige Bronzing Cream. It's tough. I feel like the brands are in a tough spot and consumers are as well because we never want them to change the formulas of our holy grail products, but when they go cleaner, it is a good thing. That serum foundation is so dewy. I think it's starting to pill just a teeny tiny bit, but I layered a lot of moisturizer and then immediately went in with the serum foundation and then the foundation. So it's kind of a lot. I don't have a ton of pilling going on. I still think it looks really pretty overall. But next time I'll know to be careful. Just apply a little bit less. Next, I'm going in with another Westman Atelier product. This is the Clean Glow Trio Petite Sticks. And I picked up shade two. There are two different shade options. 
I didn't see this on the Credo Beauty website. They do have Westman Atelier, just the full size products, but I love this little set. Now this I picked up from Sephora. And if you can wait, hopefully it'll still be available for the Sephora sale. I think it's $78 for the little set, which is expensive, but not considering you get the three products inside. And I did a little comparison. These mini sticks are about half the size of the full size product. So I do think it is a value to pick up the little trio. If you're familiar with the brand, I think it's always better to go with a larger size versus convenient sizes. But I think if you're new to the brand or if you love Westman Atelier and you're traveling, you just want something kind of small for a touch up or a little makeup bag. These are so great. The shade two set comes with the face trace contour stick in shade truffle. The lit up highlight stick in Nectar and Baby Cheeks blush stick in Doo Doo or Dodo. First, I'm going to go in with the contour stick. The reason I went with shade two was I liked the shade of the blush a little bit better with this one. But I think this contour should be fine. It blends out so easily. It's kind of one of my complaints about the full size contour. I don't know if I have this shade or not, but it blends almost to nothing. Like you can really build it up. But I think that's also just the brand. It's meant to be a little bit more natural. You could blend with your fingers if you wanted to. It's kind of hard to mess it up, which is a good thing. It'll give you a little color. I think it looks so pretty. And it is a lot nicer than powder. Anytime I go in with a cream bronzer, I like to go back with my foundation or concealer brush and just help to blend. Here's the little baby cheeks blush stick in the shade Doo Doo Dodo. See, it's almost more of a berry. The one I have is Chuchette, and it's beautiful, but it's a, a light pink. It almost gives you a soft, barely there flush. So I liked the look of this berry blush because I think this has a little bit more impact. And I think something like this is really nice for fall winter. Ooh, that is so pretty. And same as before, I'm just going back quickly with my concealer brush. Before I set my face with powder, I'm gonna go in with this highlighter. It's not the highlighter from the trio, but I love this so much. This is the Super Loaded Tinted Highlight. I picked this up last year. One of the Sephora holiday savings events, spring or holiday, that's when I picked this up because it's $75, it's very expensive. So if you can get a discount, take advantage. Of course, if you're not Rouge at Sephora, it's better to pick it up during the Credo Beauty event because everybody gets 20% off. But I picked up Peau de Rosé and everybody in the comments said, you need to try the peach or the pesh. That's what I'm planning to purchase from the sale and I cannot wait because as expensive as it is, I love this. I loved it so much more than I wanted to because it's just amazing. It gives the skin almost this kind of iridescent, lit from within, it's not sparkly, no shimmer, but it, it's just kind of this dreamy glow. It's so beautiful and it kind of melts. It's a really nice cream. Just one of the prettiest highlighters in my makeup collection and I really need to use it because I find myself kind of saving it, which is terrible. I want to use it up. I love a dewy complexion, but if I were to walk outside in Miami with this face as it is, it would just start to melt immediately. So I am going to set with a little powder and I'm using the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. This is the shade Breezy. 
and I think this should be light enough. So I'm just going to kind of set the under eye and the T-zone. As I was telling you guys, I'm pretty new to clean beauty. So this is basically an Ilia Cosas Westman Atelier video, but if you guys know of any other brands that you love, let us know down in the comment section. Share your favorites. I was surprised to see Shantakai wasn't available at Credo Beauty. I don't know if that's just because they don't carry them yet or if it was an ingredient issue, but I sort of thought they would carry Shantakai as well. I have plenty of Shantakai products and I love them. But I know they're very strict about what they will carry. I also have this Kosas bronzer in the shade medium golden bronze. It's very pigmented and this one is pretty red. I wasn't sure if I would need any more bronzer on the face, but I actually think the complexion looks fine. Normally, I would maybe add a little powder bronzer on top and then you guys would yell at me and say I add too much bronzer and I would ruin the whole makeup look, so I'm gonna resist the urge to do that. But I'm gonna use this as eyeshadow today because I don't have any eyeshadow palettes and I don't even have any eyeshadow singles, I don't think, that would be considered like a true clean beauty brand. With a rougher 15 brush, I'm gonna pick up this bronzer and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this in the crease. I'm gonna keep the eye look pretty simple and basic today. More of an everyday soft glam. Next, I'm going to run a little bit of that bronzer underneath the lower lash line. For the eyelid, I'm going in with the Kosas 10 second eyeshadow. I used this once before on camera. I really like this. I was very impressed. It dries really quickly, so you have to work fast. Give it a good shake. This is the shade Globe kind of a basic bronze. I wish I could, I could do something more interesting with the eyes, but I just don't have the products here. Lesson learned, I need to invest in more clean beauty products. I'm just gonna dab this directly on the eye and then I'm going to blend it out with my flat brush. Kind of the perfect get out the door eyeshadow. It looks so pretty. Perfectly blended. I mean, you could probably use your fingers. You don't even really need to use the brush. I was just sort of curious how this would look, so I took my flat brush and I'm going back into the Westman Atelier Cream Highlight. And I'm gonna pop a little bit of that right on the center of the eyelid. Eyebrows are now done. I also went in with a little liquid eyeliner. That was the one product that I didn't have any clean options. But I have been using this NARS Climax liquid eyeliner in explicit black. I think this is new and it is amazing. I guess it had been a while since I had used a black liquid eyeliner, but it has a brush tip that's kind of flattened, which I love because you can make the line so thin and it's really easy for creating the inner wing that I typically do and the exterior wing, it doesn't bleed at all. It's just a really great black liquid eyeliner pen. So I really love this. And now I do have a new mascara here to try. This is the Ilia After Midnight Limitless Lash Mascara. I've tried one of the other mascaras from Ilia. I liked it. It wasn't a favorite, um, but this one is different. So we'll see, maybe this one will be better. I do like the look of this wand a little bit more. I like it, but I don't love it. I think I'm having the same problem as the other one where it's really great for separating the lashes, but it's very hard to build up any volume. That's a little bit better. I like it, but something like this wouldn't replace my holy grail. That's the problem.
eyes are basically done and the last step is lips, but I do want to quickly just highlight the brow bone. I'm going to go in with this Westman Atelier highlighter. I'm also going to pop a little bit of this right in the inner corner, right underneath the little eyeliner wing. And for lipstick, I have two products here. I have this Kosas Rosewater Lipstick. Really pretty pink shade. And then I'm going to top that off with this lip gloss from St. Jane. This is the shade Nectar. I have a couple of these. And I actually just had to fish this out of my purse because I take it with me. It's just a really nice nude lip gloss and it has a little shimmer to it. But I really like this. It's not sticky and it's not chunky, even though it has the shimmer. This is the complete makeup look for the day using all of our clean products. I did a couple little tweaks. I did end up having to go in with more powder to set the areas that looked a little bit shiny. So then I looked pale. So I did go in with the Kosas bronzer just a little bit. Tried not to overdo it, but I did add a little powder bronzer just sort of to set that Westman Tillier contour because it does blend out to be very light. So if you want a little bit more warmth to your cheeks, I think it's okay to set with a little powder. What else? That's basically it. I didn't do anything else to the eyes. Oh, I fixed this eyebrow. <sighs> that Kosas pencil. I'm trying so hard to make it work, but I feel like the shape is always terrible when I use that pencil versus the benefit. I don't know why. It should be the same. A brow pencil should be a brow pencil, but it's not for whatever reason. So I know this brow is looking a little bit wonky, but everything else... I think looks really nice. I'm so happy with all of these products. I love this complexion. The mix between the Ilia Skin Tint and then just a teeny tiny bit of the Westman Atelier Foundation Stick. I think those two together work really nicely. And I'm not saying you need to pull out two foundations on a daily basis, but I do think it's kind of nice to have them both. So that on days you're running out the door, you just have your one skin tint. On days you want full coverage, you could go with in with just the Westman Atelier, but then on those days that you just want a little something something, they work really nicely together and then you get your SPF and your skincare benefits. I really liked the feel of the Tata Harper Moisturizer. This feels really nice. The Kosas Powder is really beautiful. The 10 second eyeshadow is amazing. I need to look for more shades because it really is just fast and efficient. Love all of the Westman Atelier products. The cream blush is beautiful. The contour is really nice. It just blends out to be very light. And then, of course, our super loaded highlighter, this guy right here, always the star of the show. Anytime I use it, I'm so happy with my makeup. I'm going to stop saving it. I'm just going to put this in the top drawer. It gives the cheek the most beautiful glow you can see. It just looks angelic. It just looks so pretty. And for a cream, it doesn't get thick or cakey. It really doesn't emphasize texture at all. I didn't use a clean eyeliner, unfortunately. So eyeliner and eyeshadow. I need to expand my horizons a little bit. And mascara. I have a couple of clean mascaras, but they're just not quite as good as my other mascaras. I know myself and I won't commit to the switch if it's not as good. I like this mascara. I'll lean in closer again. They don't look spidery. My lashes aren't clumped together. There's almost too much separation. Like I want them to look a little bit closer together. So I don't really have the volume that I'm used to. I prefer the Sean Sakai longest lash. Overall though, I am very happy with the finished makeup look. I know it's always a bit of hit or miss whenever I test new products all at one time. Sometimes it goes really well, sometimes it goes pretty bad, but I love this makeup look. I will probably recreate this again. I could see myself pulling out these products again, using them all together as just an everyday makeup look. But now that I know I really like them all, even if I'm not doing a full face of clean beauty, I can still just incorporate some clean beauty into my routine. And that was really my goal with creating today's video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. That completes today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. If you have any clean beauty suggestions, please leave them down in the comment section. I would love to read through them. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. 
and hit the notification bell.